stop trying to save people. All right, so uh, in case you are new here, I'm Stan. I'm the owner of Respect Her Curves Boudoir Photography. This channel is made to inspire mostly women because that's why that's who my typical client is for boudoir, of course. But this isn't just a channel for boudoir. It is also a channel to uh, inspire self-certainty and those that come across it. So if that's something you are interested in, you are in the right place, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Uh, so as I've said before, try to save people who don't want to be saved all right uh, it's an old project pat song and uh that this song was a little bit more um you know more raunchy than this message is but uh i think it applies to everybody uh don't try to save people all right so i had an impromptu coaching session today with a co-worker of all people and she, I don't even know how it got started, but she started telling me about her exes, her ex-husband, her ex-boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend, or her ex-husband that became the ex, an ex-boyfriend now. It's only two people, but, uh, you know, and uh, we just got into an entire conversation that turned into a full-blown coaching session so this this might have been one of my first coaching sessions <laughs> without even realizing it. Uh, but um, you know of course she asked the, the question you know what's what's wrong why is it you know why are these why why are these situations not working out you know and uh, I had to tell her the truth you know there's always a common denominator in every situation every situation that anybody brings to me or anybody goes through uh, there's always a common denominator and that is you that is the person that is talking and telling me the story you are always the common denominator now it might not be your fault which I was you know busting her chops basically told her it was her fault but it wasn't her fault um, busting her chops I've never said that before in my life <laughs> I didn't want to say busting her balls, but uh, whatever. I was <laughs> so um, you know. So I was joking with her. I told her it was her fault, but I, like I said, I was joking. It wasn't her fault. But anyway, um, so of course there's always a common denominator. So uh, I told her, you know, it, it, it might not be her fault, but it could be her choice choices right um so we, we we got to talking about it and you know she was telling me about her um one ex who has a bad drinking problem got into like all kind of other stuff that was very non-enticing um you know i don't want, i don't want, i won't go into too much detail about that uh, and then her other ex you know just really didn't care had showed no affection whatsoever uh, you know had his own problems basically and uh, so you know I, I I went into kind of therapist mode and I asked you know because I'm, I'm looking for I'm looking for commonalities you know I'm, I'm looking for what's you know even though they <clears throat> they might not be <clears throat> excuse me they might not be doing the exact same things, but, uh, you know, they're, they're both, uh, there's always common, they might, the symptoms might not be common, right? But there's still a commonality in uh, what could be causing the problem, right? And, uh, you know, she, um, she was telling me to, you know, about the problems that the other ex had. Like, so, you know, I asked, was like, was, you know, the ex-boyfriend, was he depressed? And she's like, yeah, she, he was pretty depressed. So I asked, the, was the husband, was he pretty depressed? And she's like, yeah, probably. So I asked her, I'm like, okay, uh, do you, 
are you the type of person that's always trying to save people? And she was like, yeah. She said she was a Pisces, which I'm not in. I don't really get into the Zodiac stuff, but uh, apparently Pisces are always trying to save people. Um, learned that today. Um, but yes, yeah, she said she was a Pisces. She's always trying to save people. And without me even saying anything, she says, yeah, I guess I'm always trying to uh, save, you know, I'm always trying to uh, trying to save people with that, you know, with, with emotional issues, and broken people or something she said like that. And I walked away. I'm like, well, my job here is done. You said you answered your own question, which is important. Thanks, Tony Robbins. Uh, but anyway, so it just made me realize, like, you know, a lot of people, and I actually see it, I actually see it in some of my own family, you know, actually the opposite, uh, opposites in sex as far as uh, my family is concerned, right? People trying to save people, you know, people coming to the rescue sometimes you can't do that you know what I mean like there's some people who I mean I hate to say can't be saved because I don't I don't believe that I don't believe anybody can just not be saved or you know what I mean I, I can't really say I believe that but um, you know I, I truly believe that 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 some people just take so much work that not everybody has the capacity to uh, to inspire change. You know, you know what I mean? Like I'm, you know, especially if you're not coming from a place where you are um, fully happy yourself. If you're not, you know what I mean? If, if you're not, if you're not fully, if you if you're not fully okay yourself, you know what I mean? You, you definitely can't save anybody who's less okay than you are. <clears throat> so. Um, so that's my message for today. You know what I mean? Like if you are, if you are dealing with somebody, like if you are that type of person where you just, you got a big heart, you want to help people. Side note, sometimes people mistake not being able to say no with having a big heart. You might have a big heart, but the truth is you might not be able to say no. Uh, but you know, if you are that type of person where you, you just want to save people, you want to see people do better, right? Especially if at one point they made you feel good. They made you feel a certain way. They made you feel all these things, right? You know, um, sometimes you can't really get back to that because life is moving. Life is pro constantly progressing. Life is changing. And, you know, sometimes you, you can't get to those you can't get back to those moments that you already had. Like you gotta create, you gotta move forward and create new moments. Maybe sometimes, you know, you can create new moments with, you know, people from the past. It's very possible. Um, but if that person from the past is not willing to budge, is not willing to, you know, um, make themselves happy and take responsibility for their own their own happiness thing. There isn't much that you can do, you know, to inspire um, a change in them. You know what I mean? Because I mean, especially if, especially if we're talking about relationships, because if we're in a relationship, you know, there has to be, has to be mutual benefit. You know, there has to be, you know, one person has to benefit just as much as the other person. As a matter of fact, to take it even a step farther, each person has to uh, has to benefit from you know fulfilling the needs of the other person, uh, so to speak. You know, so uh, yeah, that's that, that's my message for today. You know, if you are if you find yourself in a situation where you you feel like you are coming to the rescue or trying to save people you got to get out of that you have to get out of that uh, ASAP you're gonna piss some people off that's cool <laughs> that's perfectly fine you got to be willing to piss people off uh, 
because these people aren't necessarily worried about pissing you off and making you feel uncomfortable. So you just got to do what you got to do. You got to bite the bullet. Let them be pissed off because your peace of mind is more important than their feelings. Simple as that. Hopefully this brought you some value. Uh, I really enjoy I really enjoy doing these these videos. I really I don't know why it's taken me so long to start doing this, but uh, I really enjoy doing these. So if you uh, if you find some value for this from this video and you are here for the first time, please consider clicking that subscribe button. And uh, if you are in the Ohio area and you are interested in the boudoir photography experience with me, then uh, you know send me an email. My email is down below. Uh, Stand at respecthercurves.com. Send me an email and you know we'll get that taken care of. We'll get that started. Um, join the female only besides me uh, VIP group. It's absolutely free. The link for that is down below in the description as well. And um, I enjoy these little talks. Talk to you next time.